up. Mikey, my ball. And my ball, Nick. AJ, my ball. Baby, I got a head full of hair. I can't help it if you're the only diva here in the WWE whose fat tub has stretch marks. Oh! Vicky is so fat that she wakes up in sections. Boy, ain't no way, boy. You should hear the rest of what they got to say. She's about to have a meltdown. You can find that video at the 9 minute 30 second mark. But I do have eight other videos to react to. Definitely some fire videos. Pay attention to this video because this man needs some drizzle and we're going to have to get him correct. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Definitely share the video. And if this is your first time watching, hit that subscribe button. Let's go. Give us spin for the camera so they see what they're working with. Get in the comments to let me know on a scale to one to 10, where you putting her at? I'll let you know at the end what my number is. I have like a waist trainer on and a board to keep my body right. Like a million dollar body. I fuck with millionaires, rich men. Why'd your last relationship end? I was a stripper. I am a stripper and I, I ain't gonna stop. For the streets, she not even planning on stopping. The question here is, how many women do you see over the age of 30 that have a career at stripping? Her man wanted you to stop stripping for him. Right. He met me in a strip club. Don't you think it's fair for you to sacrifice some things if you want to commit to a man? I don't think so because if he can't pay all my bills exactly. and take care of what else I got going on and then no. Would you want him to pay for all your bills before you marry him? I didn't marry him. He met her in the strip club. He shouldn't be trying to get her to stop stripping to be with him anyway. He should just be in there having fun dating a stripper but ultimately that man who is who she's dating should be looking for another woman. Well, how you're gonna get to that point if you're not gonna show the sacrifice? Nigga, if you ain't paying, you ain't getting, you ain't, it's, it's over with. One thing about it, two things for sure. I suck a good, eat good booty hole. <laughs> I know how to cook a little bit. She says she likes to eat the cheeks and she likes to down throat the mushroom tips. That's gotta count for something, but only by the hour. Oh man, you know. Let's say what the Lord said. A man is the provider. And a woman is a stripper. No. Oh, wow. No, you're doing too much now. My rating is she's a two negative pro In my opinion, this is a negative two. She claims she's a stripper. She's not stopping. A man is supposed to be a provider, but she can never tell you what a woman does, just like most women can't. I've seen you with a boy. So who, who are you pregnant by? I'm not sure. I beg your pardon? How are you not sure? What does that mean? I mean, I probably slept with like four or five. You slept with four or five people where? At home. You're never home. That's got to be a sad situation when you find out your 16-year-old daughter is pregnant and she doesn't know who the father is because you've been at work because you don't need a man because you could raise her by herself. This is a rotating cycle in the black community. At home, I'm never home. I'm working, trying to provide for you. Stop it. And while I'm working nights, you're sleeping with four or five boys? Yeah. So would it, how old are these boys? Older. What does that mean? Older than me, they older. Like, just like a scatterbrain. She has no remorse. She's sitting there talking to her mama like, yeah, they're older. I've been getting ran through. And? Like, are they over 18? Some of them. So you trying to keep this baby? What do you, what do you? I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't wanna have that. So you wanna get rid of the baby. So that's gonna be your form of contraception. I mean, Kendra, my best Kendra ain't you. You're done. Fathers, you need to stay in your daughter's life because we've reached a critical point in civilization, especially over here in the Western world, where a lot of these women think being liberated is the only way to live. It's Big Leah T and back in the cut. I just got one more thing to say. This fat, funny looking black sh just told me that I need to get on a treadmill. Let's be honest, mama. You're a little thick around the thighs and your dress and your shoes are oozing fat. Yes, you need to get on the treadmill. Get your teeth! It like somebody shot dice in them house. Who bought? Mikey, my ball? And my ball, Nick? AJ, my ball? Baby, I got a head full of hair. Y'all saw this motherfucking wig. 
exactly what are you trying to accomplish here? Why would you put fake hair on top of a lot of natural hair? Make it make sense. Mom, you talking about me. He talking all this shit about me. But baby, you in the same way class as me. And then it leads to a fight because she got her heart broken. But you have to look at the fact she's so masculine and aggressive. She's willing to fight a man because he told her the truth. If you are a white woman and you are dating in love with, married to a black man, I want you to listen up. Um, there are certain things that you need to know. And I don't think this is spoke about enough. But um, the most dangerous thing in this world are the tears of a white woman. And if you truly love the black man that you are with, you need to know that you need to have his back and protect him at all costs, including protecting him from yourself. She has a point because when a black man argues with a white woman and they are in a relationship, he's automatically looked at as the evil one. And what do I mean by that? My son was dating a white woman. My son is biracial. Um, they got into an argument in public and she started to scream and cry. And my son immediately left the scene. Sounds like a smart man. I would have left the scene too, especially if there was something that she was crying about that didn't even require tears. In a lot of cases, women would cry over situations that are not even that serious. She was outraged. She couldn't believe my son left. My son left because my son knew that if he stayed there and this woman was crying and screaming at him, a black man, there was not going to be any questions asked. He was going to be thrown to the ground. He was going to go to jail. It was not going to be any questions asked because this white woman was crying and screaming about him. I tell dudes all the time, a white woman is the most powerful woman on the planet. She's the only race of women you will see married to every single type of man on the planet. The police only needs one reason to hurt you whenever a white woman cries. Now, I'm sure this female may have been hurt. Her feelings was hurt. She was a little emotional. However, when you are dating a black man and you're a white woman, you need to understand that sometimes your fucking feelings and your emotions have to take a fucking back seat to not cause harm to the person you are dating. Tears always win for a woman, not just a white woman. That you love, that you are married to. And I'm not telling you that if you are truly in fucking danger, not to get help. But if you're just emotional, you're just pissed off and you want to scream and hoop and holler in public, it's not the time. And she's right, because in public, a man will be taken down. I always tell dudes, those type of women are good to date in your 20s. When you get some money and in your 30s, you have a tendency to outgrow them. OK, let me ask you this. How are your kids are going to be an asset to me if I was dating you? I would never date a man that ever asked me no craziness like that. Uh, see, I would never. Because you would problem. never ask me how my kids would be an asset to you. That's the thing. That's insanity. But see, I'm coming from a logical no. standpoint. I, you have I don't to ask those questions. any woman and let, and let me say one more is going to let you say, how can your kids be an No, no. This is why you date baby mothers and you don't try to step in and be a stepfather. Because you're technically there to keep her company. You're not there to raise her kids. So... Going into this situation, just understand the kids are never going to be an asset. I tell dudes all the time, you need to have your own place and she needs to have her own place. Let her raise her kids and you just date her on the weekend. That's how you make it work. Stop trying to be father of the year because most guys nowadays, they not even touching a single mom. I can't help it if you're the only diva here in the WWE whose fat pub has stretch marks. Vicky is so fat that she wakes up in sections. Can you imagine a woman getting roasted in front of hundreds of thousands of people? Oh my 
God. I'm going to have to steal some of these jokes. But we got more of them coming up. Let's get to it. My daughter just contacted me after 17 years asking me if I wanted to meet my granddaughter. Am I the asshole for telling her that I don't care about her or her granddaughter and to never contact me again? You wasn't in your daughter's life in the first place. So I guess it's okay for you to say that. I'm in my 60s now. And I was married to my ex-wife and we had a daughter. And our marriages went through their ups and downs, but I was really close with my daughter. Once again, this is another lesbian relationship where they ended up having a child. And then the dominant lesbian woman decides to leave because she doesn't want to raise the child. But as our marriage got more difficult, I made a huge mistake and I had an affair with one of my coworkers. She was in a physically abusive relationship at home and we became really close and things just kind of... She was in a physically abusive relationship at home and we became really close at work and things just kind of snowballed from there. I gave her an out to get out of that relationship and soon her ex-husband ended up in jail. And once the affair went nowhere, we called it quits and that was the end of that. I was glad she got out of that relationship and that she was safe, but we were no longer messing around. When my ex-wife found out about the affair, she completely, my daughter just contacted me out in front of our daughter. She was 15 at the time, and even after I apologized profusely, there was still now this distance between me and my daughter. The distance just grew and grew to the point where we got to the point where we were we just didn't speak at all. Then one day she said she wanted to cut me out of her life forever and never speak to me again. And it was the most painful thing anyone had ever said to me. But time passed on and my daughter kept her word. She did not talk to me. She literally cut me out of her life. I tried to connect with her for about two years and then after that I gave up because she was not breaking. Like she did not want to talk to me. I found out from a friend that my ex-wife had moved on and married a guy and was happy. And so I hope this would be an opportunity for me and my daughter to rekindle our relationship. But that ended up never happening. I moved away and haven't talked to my daughter since. Just another story with bitter women turning on each other and having emotional issues. This is why when you place women in power, you give women the leadership, you only get chaos and confusion at the end of the day. Why are there so many women that feel like men need to take care of them? Because they have thousands of simps in their DMs. Oh, I'm looking for a man that's gonna take care of me. I don't wanna work. Well, that's lazy of you. No woman should just want a man to take care of them. Is it good, you know, to be taken care of, but men want to be taken care of too. So if you're not bringing nothing to the table and you're just a bill, then you don't think that man is going to cheat on you? It could work if she brings peace, if she brings companionship, if she brings inspiration. See, a woman can have her man take over the planet just by encouraging him. But if all she's doing is draining his soul and complaining all day long, she's not worth being taken care of. A man only wants a woman to bring food, sex, peace, and companionship. If you could bring just those four things, a man would give you whatever you want. But most women lack at the basics. If you're not bringing anything to the table but vagina, then why does he need you? He don't need her. This is why guys are walking away from relationships. How long you been rich, nigga? You've lost touch with reality. If you think kids have Wait, resources. Wait, come out. So you don't think with the internet, kids don't have more resources? Mm -mm. You must ain't got no poor nigga cuz. Social media is a facade. You never see somebody on social media say, boy, they eat my last $2 right here. They go come show you when they got their 500. You never see nobody on social media say, man, here go the disconnect notice, man. I got to pay these light bill by Friday. I'm two months behind. Social media show you the happy side. You look at the real statistics. Homie, nah, kids don't have a lot of resources. When you say more resources, more yeah, resources. But the risk, like what? You make resources. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More, make but resources. how though? But how? When you look and see most kids aren't creating content, so how do they have resources? Well, I mean, when, it, it just depends on what you want to do in life. But how do you know you what you want to do when you don't have a developed brain? You're talking about an undeveloped brain, and you're dealing with trauma and impoverished conditions. Your mama might be on drugs, your uncle might be malicious, and your dad in prison. Those numbers are way bigger than what you think. Yeah, you lost touch with reality. I, I, fuck you, bitch ass nigga. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about no dead ass rapper. 
when I just buried a 15 year old kid talking like the dead rapper. And come to find out, everybody who look like they got money on social media, ain't nobody got no money. Right. This nigga just was showing $5,000. He in jail for a robbery he can't make up. This nigga just was showing $20,000 and his mama selling plates to bury. But this nigga got all the Louis shoes. And now when he just got killed, his mama got a GoFundMe begging to bury this nigga. But online, it look like they got money. You gotta love Charleston White because when it's all said and done, all he do is kick facts. He's right. Generation Z is done. They have resources, but they have no inspiration at all.